right, this is the Manhattan Portage Everyday Carry Atlas Sling. It is a Manhattan Portage Black Label. So here's the packaging it came with. Black Label meaning fancier than normal. So in this case, it's the, the materials used. Um, it's a 1000D Cordura. So there's a little bit of packaging to tell you about that. And the, uh, the label here showing some of the other black label products you can buy. Uh, also came with these. So this is a sling or pouch for organization. So in sling mode, you use these two D rings on the back. Came with a strap, which I'll show you right now. There's that strap. So it's got a quick release button. So you can put it on across uh, your body quickly. Take it on, take it off. It's got a D ring here. So you can quickly adjust it, change the, uh, the size of it. Uh, narrow strap, it says about an inch strap. Um, if you watch the video and you notice the strap hanging down quite a bit, uh, the gentleman that was wearing the bag, there is this little keeper built into the into the strap so that once you do get this, the length that you want it, you can tuck this cord, uh, the strap into that little keeper and it won't have that big dangle, dangle problem going on. And then these are pretty, pretty standard uh, clips to clip it on. Um, I also liked that uh, with these D-rings, if you wanted to attach a carabiner to this bag, you could do that. So if you wanted to use this on a flight as a bag to hold uh, some things for you on the seat in front of you, you could do that, which is pretty cool. Uh, and for the uh, same reason, I like that the bag has two zippers. So if you're using it vertically like a pouch, and you want to just open the top of the bag because you have two zippers, you can do that. But if you're wearing it and it comes across your body and you want to have the zippers on this side so that you can just open it here and quickly get into the bag, you can do that. So two zippers is kind of crucial. I like that. The zippers, by the way, uh, they are YKK zippers and then they have this custom Manhattan Portage New York Skyline on them, Manhattan Skyline. Uh, so those are nice. Uh, the front of the bag has this mo uh, mole strapping on it. Uh, mole, like the Mexican sauce, right? Mole. Uh, it has one pocket in the front, so that goes all the way down. Also up here. Uh, on the back, there's another pocket. They call this a security pocket. So, because when you're wearing the bag, this would be up against your body. Uh, phone fits in there really nicely, or a wallet. Nice big pocket. And then on the inside, here's all your crazy organization. You've got your Manhattan Portage Red fabric. Let me show you the pockets on here quickly. So this is one big pocket along the back. And then you have the uh, elastic webbing here, different sizes, four along the middle, and then two larger ones there, or, uh, two, two larger ones with three each, two even bigger ones here. There's a, another piece of webbing in the middle here, so if you wanna put a pen in the middle of the bag, you can do that. Four webs there, elastic webbing there. Little baby pocket here. Another long pocket along the entire length of the bag. Uh, and that is not the same as this one, so there's this piece of red fabric in between those two pockets. So those are both pockets that go the full length of that bag, just one big open pocket, no organization inside any of these pockets, just some nice big pockets. Um, so uh, the fabric feels great, nice, chunky, 1000D Cordura, uh, the inside red I think is pretty cool. Um, I like the idea of this bag, mostly as a cord pouch for me, but also uh, I've been known to, to rock a sling, so I um, thought I could potentially use it that way as well. Um, every once in a while I'll take this Topo Design uh, fanny pack, hip pack, wear it like a sling with my camera, little camera cube in there. Uh, so this would be, you know, for days when I don't need my camera smaller, just to throw, you know, maybe my wallet, my keys, my phone, if I want to empty out my pockets and just have uh, the bag. So yeah, I thought that was a nice idea. So I'm going to load this thing out and uh, show you how I've been testing it out using it. So the main, the main way I'm planning to use this bag is to hold all my cords and my charging 
uh, items that I travel with. So for work, I travel quite a bit and uh, I'm a big Apple guy. So I got my iPhone chargers, MacBook Air charger, Apple Watch, uh, and then some charging bricks. So let me, let me load this out quickly and I'll speed this up and then we'll talk about it. All right, so here's the bag loaded out. Um, and this is really a pared down amount of stuff that I, I wanted to take with. So I have kind of all the essentials here. Um, USB-C to Lightning, uh, USB-A to Lightning, uh, Apple Watch charger, uh, multiple uh, charger ends here. So uh, a little multi-cable, the 18 watt iPhone charger that comes with the new iPhone 11 Pro. So this is a USB-C charger, 18 watt. Uh, the ones uh, previous to this are five watt chargers. So this actually charges the phone much quicker, which is great, USB-C. And then uh, this is a USB-C to USB-C cable. And uh, one of the main things I wanted to try to do with this pouch was carry all the essential cords I need and this anchor power bank. So uh, the great thing with the new uh, Apple laptops is you can use a power bank like this to charge them because they charge over USB-C now. So this is the Anchor Power Core Plus 26,800 PD 30-watt power. And that PD means power delivery. So from this uh, USB-C port here, you can actually charge uh, an Apple laptop. Uh, and 30-watt is the same uh, wattage that you get from the standard Apple uh, charger that they give you with the MacBook Air, the new MacBook Airs, 2018, 2019 MacBook Airs. Uh, so that's great. So if you've been working all day on your laptop and you want to get some work done on a flight that night, you can actually use this to charge your Mac, uh, MacBook Air completely once. You can obviously charge your phone and your Apple Watch and your, your earbud, uh, Apple AirPods a couple times. So I wanted a pouch that could fit all of this stuff together. Uh, the pouch, the dimensions on the pouch are 8 inches by 5 inches by an inch and a half deep. So inch and a half is a little bit narrower than a lot of the other pouches that I was comparing to this uh, pouch, but I like that. It's a nice bag. It's made out of nice materials. I wanted this to be, you know, as tight as possible to fit everything that I needed. And I figured, you know, it's a well-made bag by some smart people. Uh, it's probably been engineered well to actually, you know, fit a good amount of stuff. So I, I wanted to give it a shot. Um, the anchor power core is just under an inch, so it's pretty thick. Um, so, uh, and it fits, it's, you know, it's seven inches. So the bag is eight inches, this is seven inches. So I can fit this into any of these pockets. It fits well um, in the zipper pouch on the side here. A little bit of a tight fit, but fits right in there. It fits uh, on the outside pocket as well. And it'll fit in this pocket as well. But uh, once you start uh, loading up the front side of this pocket with all the stuff, uh, when you're trying to slide something down into that pocket, it starts to hit all that stuff, especially anything chunky like this iPhone charger down here. When I get down there, it just hits it every time and it's not gonna go all the way. But once you do get it all the way in, it fits all the way in there very nicely. And that's great. Um, so you've noticed I packed the bag out. I didn't put any cords on this side and that's because I want to try to keep that free for the depth of this anchor charger in there. Um, and let's say I throw it in this back pocket here. It seems to be the one that fits in the best. Um, you can see everything's a little bit of a struggle here. Everything's a little bit tight. Um, and the idea of being able to use this bag to throw you know, a couple extra things in. So if I'm on a flight and I wanna to toss my phone and my wallet in here so that I don't have to have those in my pocket, hard to reach. Even better if I could throw my, my AirPods in there as well, that would be great. Um, everything's a little bit tight. So uh, I would have an even harder time trying to do that if I had loaded out this side. So you know, if I threw maybe an extra, uh, an extra, uh, iPhone charger in here for my Apple Watch. If I want to, you know, throw my chapstick in here, maybe my car key, uh, iPad charger, you know, these extra dongles, anything like that. Anything extra you want to put in on this side once you have that 
that pretty thick power bank in there, it's just eating into that one and a half inch depth on the bag and it's gonna to be tough to close the bag and even tougher if you wanna throw something extra in there. All right, so here it is, uh, packed out pretty much exactly how I would want it. And just to give you an idea what it looks like zipped up. And then the experience of using it would be, hey, you know, I wanna throw something extra in this pocket here. You can fit stuff in there, but it's just everything feels very tight. So here goes my wallet. Uh, get it in there, but I can't. There's no way I'm gonna zip this thing up. Love this wallet. It's um, cards there, money, field notes book. Um, another pouch on the back so you can slip extra stuff in there. One star leather. Check it out. Pretty great. Had this wallet for like three or four years now. Let's take something a little bit smaller. Field notes book. Sure that fits in there, but again, when I get down to the bottom, I'm really having to jam it to get it around around the corner here past that power power bank. Same with the front pocket. You're mostly just gonna be able to fit flat things in here. You can barely don't even know if I can get this in there. These pockets are really mostly just for flat things. Once you get this thing loaded out, you can fit your, your drink tickets in there. You can maybe, you know, slide, slide your Denver Public Library card in. But uh, these, uh, I think maybe one of the problems is the material is just this really great beefy, thick material, but it really eats into all that extra depth that you'd want. Uh, these uh, seams where they've sewed them uh, is just, everything is just kind of eating into all that extra space you would want. And there's just not a lot of space to begin with, which again, as as advertised, um, one of the ad, adver ad as advertised parts though, they did, you know, show an, an image of uh, a MacBook charger and a MacBook cable, which I don't have one here, but here's another... USB-C cable uh, tucked into the side of this bag. Yeah, you can do that totally. Um, but at that point, if you're you know wearing this as a sling or you know using it, there's no space for anything extra in here, which is kind of what I wanted to have a little bit of extra space that if something needs to come out of my pocket and I want to toss it in here quickly, I could do that. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think it's set up well to do that. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, I'm thinking the same thing. If I was using this as a sling, and uh, say I had it packed out this way and I want to throw my phone in here. Where am I going to put my phone? I guess I could just drop it in the middle here. But I got all these cords with their metal ends sticking out. Using my phone to record this, so here's something you may not have seen in a while. My iPod here. Um, not a lot of extra space in there. Yep, fits in there. But again, zipping it up, I'm going to feel like I'm crunching down on my phone. Can I get it in here? Yeah. But again, it doesn't, it's not wanting to go all the way down to the bottom because of the the other cords and things that are in there preventing it. Uh, throw it in the back. Yes, it's probably the best pocket for that. But again, everything feels a little bit like a challenge. Like it's not, things aren't just slipping in nicely. Um, so yeah, probably the main problem is this power bank is just a little bit too big for the, this purpose. The, the idea here, these well-made bags, uh, I have a couple really nice bags, expensive bags that, you know, you look at them and you think, that's not a very big bag. I'm not gonna be able to fit very much in there, but they just have this, what I call kind of magic pocket to them. Uh, so one quick example of that is this little topo pouch. It's not really a, a, a bag, but it's this little pouch. It has no depth at all, right? It's just a really simple little bag. I've got you know, some business cards and credit, uh, some extra cash in case I lose my wallet, credit cards, cash, uh, so I don't get stranded somewhere. I've got some change in here in case I, with my rental car, end up at a parking meter that only takes quarters. Um, that all fits in here easily. There's like no depth again to this bag, but the, uh, this pouch, but the, those all fit in there. If I wanted to throw in some extra stuff, I feel very confident I could fit, you know, pocket knife, my AirPods in here, zip it up, and this thing fits whatever, and there's still tons of space in here. So magic, it's magic. Uh, another really good example of that is my main work bag is this Tumi briefcase. 
Uh, and you may not love the look of this bag. I don't really love the way it looks either, but my goodness, it's a wonderful bag and it works so well. I got this bag because a colleague of mine showed up with a very similar bag and uh, to a meeting and he had actually put an entire Epson projector into the main pocket of this bag, along with his laptop, along with all of his other stuff that he needed. Uh, this thing just swallows up whatever you want to put in it and it just disappears into this bag. And none of it looks particularly thick or big, but it just swallows all that stuff up. So um, one example of that, I can throw my charger or my laptop in the front of this bag, fit this, uh, again, another nice charger here, uh, USB-C charger for your computer. This one's 60 watts, so that actually charges your laptop really, really quickly. And then you have three USB ports there for your Apple Watch, your earbuds, whatever. Um, you can chuck this whole big mess into this front pocket. It just eats it up and disappears. It's amazing. Um, so I was kind of hoping the same thing with the Manhattan Portage bag that I would find that, um, yeah, it's narrow, it's a small bag, but it would just eat up whatever I wanted to throw in it. Uh, unfortunately, I just haven't found that. So I think it's a fantastic bag. It's really well made. I do really like the look. I think it'd be a pretty cool bag to wear as a, uh, as a sling, uh, if you're into that look. But uh, I probably am going to have to get a little bit of a thicker bag, a little bit of a wider bag to take on the power core and uh, all of the charging devices, cords that I want to bring with. So uh, it's too bad. It's a great bag. I love it. But uh, I'm not going to be able to use it for taking all of my gear in one, one tight little package. Curious if, uh, if anyone is using it, how you're finding it. There weren't a lot of videos of this bag online, so I thought I'd make one quickly.